And then the other place you, you can get pushback on this is that, you know, sure, the federal government works that way, but the, the state governments and the municipals don't right. work that way. Right. They're, they're tied to their tax dollars and, and what they work on in bonds and whatnot. But, but I mean, what I would say is it, it doesn't have to be that way. And this is one of the things that, that I, I feel like people on the left should be really more open to this idea. It, it doesn't have to be that way. We, we, we can come up with, with innovative ideas and solutions to, to work on, on things. We don't have to be tied into the way things are now. So with, with, with this concept of, of the tax dollars at the state level, well, you could run the system so that all of the state and municipal governments are funded f- from federal dollars on a per person basis. You just pass the law, pass the, set up the system so that you come up with a per person number for the whole country and you say every state government is uh, going to get that amount on a regular basis and you, and you just fund it. And the sky's not going to fall if you do that. It's not going to it's not going to go crazy. You would just work things kind of differently as far as, you know, how you, you route the money and the tax payments. It would be, it could be a really good chance to simplify things. Absolutely. And just come up with a simple tax system. You know, we, we could have a tax system where anyone making under 200 grand pays zero. Yeah. You know, what if you wiped out all of it? All, all the taxes for anyone who's poor and figure out what that line is and have a progressive tax system from there. And you would systemically be addressing the wealth inequality. You would, you would be clawing, clawing down that wealth. Yeah, I agree. I think that's a good move too, because uh, I think back when we were talking about the the potential um, move, the move to amend the the potential constitutional amendment that move to amend had written out, it's a very very simple and succinct uh, piece of proposed legislation. The Constitution is like that too, a uh, very very simple, uh, able to be understood and read by a lay person without legal education. It's like that on purpose. And so, tax law and tax code is, is incredibly complicated. You know, you need to not only be a lawyer but be specialized in tax law to understand any of that so i i I think you know that's a good opportunity that you said to tear it all down and build it back up because if if you have laws and financial economic laws tax-based laws that that are completely untenable and unreadable by a member of the general public then you have an issue the economic elites and the mega corporations they use that to their advantage absolutely that's that's part of their game is to make things so complicated that you know you you have to have those kind of resources to even understand it Definitely, because that's 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 the two tiers of the haves and haves not when dealing with the system is when you have the, the financial means to hire these money lawyers and whatnot. Now, all these major corporations, rich people, they have these armies of lawyers that are doing this for them, something that the average working class person has absolutely no uh, access to. Access yeah. to yeah.